Lesson number one, basic accessories. Hello, let me formally introduce myself to you. My YouTube handle is not the end. That's spelled K-N-O-T. And I'm a crochet. This is your first time hearing my actual voice. Well, first off, I'm going to confess and tell you that I am nervous as I'll get out. So until I can become more comfortable with recording, I'll be reading from a script uh, that I've typed up beforehand. Now all this is so that I don't forget to tell you some things or screw up too badly. Hopefully in time things will get better and I can relax more and I can talk to you more on the fly. We'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. Today we're going to talk about the basic accessories you're going to need if you're going to start crocheting. And before you I have several items laid out. Uh, readers, if you already wear glasses, these may not be necessary. I wear glasses sometimes. Uh, you know, whatever I can remember I was supposed to wear them. Or I find them at the bottom of my pocketbook. Uh, but they're not strong enough to bring my stitches up close to my eyes so I can look at it more accurate. So I got these uh, at the strongest strength possible. Uh, you can get them at any pharmacy and they aren't that expensive at all. I think I bought a three pack for a little over three dollars. A tape measure, that's this. Get the sewing type. Sometimes the ones that come in needle packs aren't that accurate. I sew, so I've always got a couple of these lying around. And I'm not sure because I haven't been to a dedicated pharmacy lately, but you might can find these in a pharmacy if they have a small uh, threading section with thread. Scissors or snips, you're going to need them. You're going to need uh, probably some dedicated scissors, sharp, and make a clean cut. Or you're going to need some snips. At some point in time, you're going to have to cut your yarn. So you're going to need something that'll do it well. So scissors or snips. Row counters. That's these right here. Uh, this accessory is optional. I generally count my rows as I go. But you can use these. Uh, they fit on the end of a regular crochet hook. You just flip the number whenever you start a new row. They also come digital. However, I've seen where crochet artists don't think too much of those uh, because they don't keep a good, accurate count. Something about the static in the yarn throws them off. I don't know because I don't even use these. So, but uh, this could be more up your alley using something like this. Stitch markers right here. These little doodads. Stitch markers. Uh, the swirl ones, like this one and this one, uh, will not stay on your work. So if they don't stay on your work and can mark your stitch, what good are they? Uh, the ones made like a safety pin, this one, uh, are much better. They are also much higher to buy than these. Uh, but you get what you pay for. Now, alternative to the stitch markers, uh, you can you don't need these. You might not find that you need these at all. And some of them can be pretty elaborate. Uh, you just tie a contrasting piece of yarn that's a different color from the row or the stitch that you're working on, or if you want to call it attention to. And you just tie that on there, but don't tie it tight, and that'll alert you that that stitch or that row needs attending to. Yarn needles. Uh, they come. That's this right here. This one. These. This one. This one. Uh, they come in plastic and large eyelets and smaller eyelets. They even come in metal. The metal ones, that's the ones with the big eyelet, that's the one with the smaller eyelet. 
or if you have a darning needle you can use that uh, that will work just as well also uh, sometimes you don't even need those if you have a uh, the right size crochet hook you can use that instead there are a whole lot of other accessories out there that you may want to invest in as you get further into crocheting that's strictly up to you I'm a crafter but I'm a cheap crafter my crafting budget is tight so you will never see me purchase something that is not necessary but if you feel comfortable having the latest crocheting gadgets then by all means buy them you do you and you enjoy you while you're doing it my next bed will be lesson number two anatomy of a crochet hook don't get too excited it's still gonna be a while before we actually stitch something I just want to show you some other possibilities that are out there give you something to consider when you decide to go hook shopping until then keep sweet thanks for watching my vid hugs and peace out